What's up guys, Suplex now here, back again with another video and today I am doing a tutorial. Now this video has been requested so much on this channel and today I'm finally getting around to doing it. I'm in the middle of nowhere, this is an odd location to be filming right now but it's the only place I can. So today I will be filming a how to make stop motions which you probably already know by the title of this video but so yeah, I'm going to show you how I make them, like how I use strings, how I edit, how I make thumbnails, how I do this, that, that, that. So yeah, without further ado, let's get on to the video. So what you'll need is a tripod, figures obviously, a ring probably, fishing line. You're going to need at least two bits of this. It's like it's tied right there, and I got another one holding on this post right there, and a camera. So before you start filming, you're gonna make sure that you can see above the figure and around the figure. Then you're gonna want to just have a play around with the figures, like just get a feel for what you're doing and how hard it will be to get your goal so I'm just playing with the figures doing the world's strongest slam to see how it will feel and how like how I'll put the strings on the figures so I'm just pretty much just acting out the world's strongest slam over and over just to see how what feels the best and looks the best for me so I'll keep doing this until I think I've got a good idea. So I get a bit of comments saying, like, how do I use the strings? That's what most people are struggling with. So I'm just going to here to show you what I do. So you just hook it under the first arm like so and under the both arms actually and if you want the figure to lean back have the strings in front but if you want him to stand still have it at the back like that so as you can see he's standing pretty much straight horizontal vertical even you get the deal so you can see the string on the front of the figure like that across the pecs so he will stand up pretty much vertical in a straight pretty much how he'd be standing now if you want him to be like in a sort of sitting position you're gonna have to use another string so when I s sit the figure down I have the string on the post so it doesn't like fall off and I have to put that string back on so it's just easier so I get the other bit of string I have it in my mouth just so it's nice and tight so I can put the figure, um, in, I mean the string on the boots, put it between the like ankle joint as you can see there. And I grab both strings with one hand because I need the other to click the button on the camera. And there like that you can see I'm holding it with the thumb and my index finger. And I can just move the thumb up and down to move the legs up and down. And of course you're going to need to pose the figure between shots, not just move it. And you can move the string holding the body up just to like angle it so you can make him do a cross body. And you go both ways like you see on that side. And yeah. Now if you want to do a cross body here is a very easy way of doing it. Just unhook it from one leg and you're set he's pretty much he is on his side so you can do cross bodies that's how I do mine yep there's probably other animators out there watching this thinking no you're doing this so wrong but this is just a tutorial on how I make mine so that is how I will hold the figure with my finger and my thumb doing a cross body is on this side now this is how I will like do a harder move like two figures falling at once so you just wrap it around Mark Henry's arms and it pretty, should hold up Sin Cara as you can see here it is not 
because that is because I didn't hook it right. I only hooked it on one Mark Henry arm, so I needed to put it on both, like I am doing now. So wrap it around both of his big tree trunk arms, and it should hook both figures up, and they should be right to just hold up, and you can do a DDT or whatever move it is you are doing and of course you're gonna have to pose Mark Henry so it just doesn't look like they're both just falling you're gonna make it look like Mark Henry's getting his head planted so move his legs and if you want Mark Henry to be completely off the ground it is possible you just gonna have to grab another string like I'm doing now and hook both of Mark Henry's feet and I was having a bit of trouble here because the string was just not cooperating so I had to put it in my mouth that's a good tip put the string in your mouth it does really work and you're just gonna do that and butter boom there's your DDT how you doing it will hold both figures up see Magic. Magic. So here I am animating the video stop motion and this is in times two speed because it will take too long of a video to put it all in so I just put it times two speed. As you can see I'm moving the figure little by little, I'm bending Sinkara's knees so it looks like he's like pouncing into it and I'm getting the string so yeah just watch and see and I'll comment on a few things here and there So when you're bouncing a figure on the ropes, you're going to make it his first touch on it, make the ropes not move at all, and then make him like bend his arms down like he's getting ready to jump off him. So you bend the ropes down, and then make him just jump off it like I'm doing here. And he's turning to the side because he's, of course, doing a crossbody. So this is a very crucial part of the animation, actually when it's hitting the mat, make sure you shake the ropes a couple of frames so it looks like the whole ring is shaking, it just makes the animation look so much better, so I definitely recommend that. And make sure the figure selling the move actually sells it, so like bend his knees, bend his back, make him like hold his head or something, just make it look like he's selling the move and it hurt. So now editing, editing the video, I just use Windows Movie Maker because it's all I've got and I just drag all the frames over to the Movie Maker and as you see it has all these captions like from my camera so I just delete them and I change the frame to 0 0.1 just as a start and the first frame I put to 1 second and the last to 3 and I just fade out black so it does the old, you know. So I just watch over it to see what it looks like. Looks pretty good like that, but I want to speed it up just a little bit. So I go 0 0.08. It looks fast on this video because I sped this video up, of course. So it looks fine. And then you're going to add music. So go on to YouTube, try find the move, and add it in. And just trying to match it up with the move. So this can be difficult. You 
you might need to delete some bits at the start, delete some bits in the middle, you might need to freeze, make a frame go for a bit longer, so like make it, make the frame where Mark Henry caught Sin Cara, make that go for like maybe 0 0.3 seconds, you know, and just play around, just keep going over and over to try and get it perfect, as you can see I'm deleting a bit in the middle, just to try and get the exact thud when Mike Henry hits the ground and the music so it all lines up perfectly it can take some time but usually it doesn't take that long so yeah so that is how I make my stop motions thank you for watching this video I'm going to show you the final product at the end of this video make sure to like this video comment below Subscribe for daily videos on this channel. Thank you for 400 subscribers. That's so much to me. And um, if you want to see how I make thumbnails, comment that below because I may make a video on that. And as always, Suplex Network out.